Alexa here from the Duval Homestead and today I'm going to share with you a really simple stovetop Brussels sprouts recipe that will please the whole family. I've been making this recipe for a long time. Brussels sprouts are incredibly nutritious for you and they're a great vegetable. A lot of people don't like the taste though and it might just be because they haven't prepared them correctly. So for example if you microwave them frozen you might get a really soggy Brussels sprout and a lot of people don't like that. So this method, I can assure you, has a nice crispy texture to it at the end. And I love it because it uses just lemon, salt, and pepper. And there's a secret tip to how to get that caramelized textured leaf of the Brussels sprout that I'll share with you here. So you will need about two pounds of organic Brussels sprouts, a lemon, extra virgin olive oil, and then salt and pepper. And we're gonna do this on the stovetop. So I have here um, all my Brussels sprouts nice and washed. So I'm just gonna start cutting them. You're gonna cut the little end part off and then you're gonna slice it in half. And if you have a huge Brussels sprout, you can cut it in half again, just so that everything cooks evenly. Sprouts are from the cabbage family, only you can actually eat the whole head. Um, so they're really high in vitamin A and K and um, fiber. And there's just a lot of nutrients packed in this small vegetable. So for me and cooking for our home, it's like a bang for your buck kind of thing. I can cook a couple pounds of these that'll last as a while what to do is I have one meat and one vegetable and then a bread or a grain of some kind and so this can go with chicken or steak so many different things so it's just a really easy vegetable to prepare on the stove so I just turned on my cast iron pan on the stove on about medium high for me that's I think a level six or seven my electric stove so I just turned that on and while that's heating which will take not very long because it's a cast iron I'm just gonna cut the, the butts off of these put them over here and then we're gonna slice half and again if you have a really big brussels sprout you might want to sl slice again especially if you don't have a cast iron pan or if you have a small pan because you don't want any brussels sprouts to be um, up above stacked on one another you want them to be flat so that they cook evenly i don't really do much meal prepping um i don't we don't like to spend our sundays making a whole bunch of food so for me what i do is i when i grocery shop i look at um i try to buy several vegetables several meats, and then several um, other items like bread or rice or something like that. And then every day, depending on what we had for lunch, um, I will just pick a meat, pick a veggie, and pick a grain, and it'll be, uh, that'll be dinner. Brussels sprouts are one of my favorite things to make, and my husband loves them. I love them. successful and tasty um, are to use a hot pan so cast iron is perfect um, drizzle with olive oil but not too much what fails you with Brussels sprouts is the moisture so they're already um, pretty moist so if you were to microwave them the precipitation of the water is what makes them soggy so you don't want that so we're going to just put them on the stove with just olive oil for now and then later we're gonna do something that will um, quickly caramelize them without making them soggy and I just use my hands. Obviously, make sure your hands are washed. You're gonna hear that nice sizzle. So if your Brussels sprouts are stacking on top of each other, it's not the worst thing in the world because we are gonna stir this. So go ahead and grab a spoon and then stir it up. Make sure that nothing's sticking to the bottom of the pan. And we're gonna go ahead and let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll check on the status. You'll notice that the Brussels sprouts are already starting to turn brown. The wider your pan is, obviously the more surface area they'll be touching of the pan. So just use your judgment. If you have a small pan, you'll wanna stir more. Now, different oils have different smoke points, meaning some oils are better to cook on high heat than others. Um, we use a lot of coconut oil um, for high heat. I probably wouldn't use olive oil if I was turning my cast iron to a high setting. Okay, so it's been about 12 minutes and the Brussels sprouts are at a nice crispy texture and they are definitely cooked. So at this point, this is where the magic happens. So we're going to get our, our lemon. We love lemon, so I'm gonna use a whole lemon. If you're not as sure about the taste, just use half and then you can always add more. Um, 
a couple pinches of salt, and we need a quarter cup of water. So we're gonna pour this quarter cup of water on the skillet, and it's gonna evaporate really fast, and it's gonna create this magical, crispy, um, caramelized taste. And then shortly thereafter, add your salt and your lemon and pepper if you want, and it's gonna be great. The water evaporated quickly, which is perfect. You don't want any water sitting in the pan. I left it on for about a minute and then I turned the stove off. The cast iron is going to retain a lot of heat, so I'm gonna leave it here for a bit. But I think we're ready. And if you can serve this immediately, it's gonna be so good. I'm gonna give it a try. Hmm. Perfect. Well, I hope you enjoyed this simple, healthy stovetop Brussels sprouts recipe. This recipe is such a favorite in our house. We cook it almost every week uh, when it's available. And so I really hope that you get to enjoy it as much as we do. As always, feel free to share this video with someone you think would like this recipe. And thank you for sharing in our homestead. Mm -hmm.